All right, guys, we are at the University of Tampa and uh, we just did an interview interviewing college kids here about who they're gonna vote for next election. And uh, towards the end of the video, the security guards came up to me and said that people started complaining about my presence and that apparently I was asking people for phone numbers. Like they thought I was here hitting on women, which is not the case at all. I have everything on video. And uh, that really kind of triggered me because I was like, so people could just call and lie about what I'm doing and you're just gonna react based on lies without doing a little bit of research. I said, everything I've done is on camera and I've not asked for a single phone number because I'm not here for that. I'm here to do political street interviews. And then they said, uh, oh, you're not allowed to, to talk to anybody. I said, are you kidding me? I'm on public property. I'm allowed to ask people if they wanna answer a question. If they engage in me consensually, whatever. Like we have a first amendment, we have free speech in this country. And they're trying to tell me, you're not allowed to talk to people. First of all, every student here is 18 plus. Everyone here is of age. And uh, eventually they got the police involved. And uh, once again, the police told them I was right. I'm allowed to stand on the corner because it is a public easement, public access. And uh, it's just really sad that these paid for security guards don't know uh, the constitution and don't know free speech, public property. They don't understand that. It's really, really, it's sad. It's really sad. And uh, you're gonna see the video later tonight. I'm gonna go home edit this tonight because I want to get it up quickly. And uh, to, the, to the security guards who work at University of Tampa, you should be ashamed of yourself. And you need to study up the constitution and see what's really going on in this country. And I pray that we get Trump back in office so that these types of violations of our free speech, this censorship, which they're trying to do in the real world now, uh, comes to an end. It has to stop. It has to stop. God bless Trump.